All right, Sean Zatel, FightHype.com here with Shakur Stevenson, fresh off a second round knockout. Shakur, uh, you dropped the guy, what was it, five times in two rounds? Yeah. Were you surprised the ref kept letting him get up for some more? I actually was surprised a little bit. I didn't think that he was going to keep letting it go. But sooner or later, it's going to come to an end. Ain't no way I'm going to just drop you three, four times and not get the fifth one and keep it going. So can you please assess your performance? How do you feel how you did tonight? I felt great. I feel like... I'm ready for a step up in uh, competition. I feel like I keep begging and asking, and it's the reason why I'm asking. I'm not just asking because, oh, I'm just talking. Like, I really want to fight the best of the best and show, like, I may be young, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to say it again. Like, so I feel like I show my, my power, my speed, my defense. I ain't get touched. I got nipped a little bit in my shoulder maybe, but I ain't get touched, so I feel like I'm ready. Do you want, so what kind of step up? Do you want a guy who's in the top 10? To, yes. Yeah. I want a guy who's getting ready for their title shot and let me knock them down. That's what I want. Now, you you keep showing the power now. This Was this two knockouts in a row or three? I know you got to knock out your last fight on TV and then you got another one tonight. That's two. So where's the power coming from right now? I've been, um, I've been working with my coach and we've been working on picking our punches instead of, like we sat down and watched our tapes. My few, my first few fights, I had a lot of amateur in me. So it's like I'm throwing certain punches. I'm throwing four, five, six punches, mm -hmm. but it's not a purpose when I'm throwing it. This fight is like I'm trying to really land on punches and place on punches. So we worked on that and now I feel like I'm ready for a lot of top guys too. Now, what makes you such a sharpshooter? Because that sounds a little simple. Like, of course, when you throw a left hand or a jab, it's going to be right down the middle. But yeah. why is your sharp punches so precise, so right down the pipe? Me, I don't know. I can't even tell you. I watch a lot of boxing. So I watch a lot of Floyd. I watch a lot of uh, Pinell. I watch a lot of Pinell Whitaker. I watch a lot of Andre Ward. And I see some of those guys do certain stuff, and it's like my brain pick up quickly. So once I see them do it, it's like, uh. I like that. I'm gonna take that with me. Do you think it's harder to do what you do, which is uh, generate power going down the middle with the left instead of looping it, or throw, like how are you able to get power on that shot without having to wing it, or you know what I mean? I'm not sure. I, I can't really answer <laughs> your question because I, I really don't know. I feel like I just try to uh, put my back leg and my body into my left hand and try to make it harder so I can sit down on my punch, basically. Now, after getting this kind of knockout again, do you feel like they, from here on out, they got to have you on TV? Yeah, that's what I've been saying. I've been, I feel like my last, if you look at my last three opponents, how many losses they got together? Two with like 36, 36 and two or something like. Well, last guy was undefeated. Yeah. This guy only had one loss. So what is it? Uh, let's put it together. What? 12, 8. What's the guy for um before this? He was 12 so, and 0, no, right? Yeah. This guy was 16, right? 16 and 1. So what's that? 36 and 2? That's, that's 28 and 1, right there. Now I'm talking about with the eight with the eight and one opponent. So that's 36 and 2. Yeah, 36 yeah. and 2. Yeah. Come on. Like I'm fighting guys that supposed to be give me a challenges and give me and I'm white I'm running through them. So I'm ready for step up fights where y'all have to put me on ESPN. Like I want my love. I feel like I ain't. I ain't getting the love that I'm supposed to get sometimes. So what? So what's the main goal to, to finish out this second half of 2018? Fight as many times as possible. How many times do you think that could be? I don't know. I think I'm ready to get back in the ring in August. August, maybe July, if they got anything for me. What if they want to uh, put you on that Pro Grey card in New Orleans? Do you think you could? You got enough time to make that next month? When is it? I think uh, it's July 14th. July 14th. Oh, um, yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> might be a little too close. Yeah, that might be a little bit too close. But we got August 25th, and I know that, that yeah, top that sound, rank. Yeah, yeah, that sound more like me. Mm -hmm. Sound like y'all can throw me in there in August, and I'm ready. Like, after August, when? October? Like, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to perform. And then, so you think the world title fight, should that come next year in 2019, if, if you had it your way? Yeah, in my way, I'll probably give it in 2019, but I will give me some of the guys that's trying to get to a world title, too, mm -hmm. and let me show them that I'm really top dog. Hey, anything else you want to let the fans know after getting that second round knockout tonight? Nah, tune in. My next few fights, keep paying attention to me. I'm the best prospect in boxing, and I'm about to keep it rolling. 
I'm on a high right now. And let's let's watch Terrence Crawford do his thing. Oh, right? yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another thing. Shout out to Team Crawford. They kept me right all week. Not just Terrence, his whole team. So much love and respect to them guys and and females behind Team Crawford. They they did me right this week. The females behind Team Crawford, you said. Yeah. 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 So iron sharpened iron. Yeah, most definitely. Thanks, Thank you, Shakur. No